So I'm going to explain what I'm doing and I want you to watch carefully what's happening in front of me. Okay. So, um, I have nothing up my sleeves, all that kind of thing. Oh, just, just in case you're suspicious. <laughs> so, I have, let's, let's do it this way so you can see it. I have here a, um, I can't even do this properly, but um, I have a standard deck of cards here. Okay, by the way, can you tell me any time if like, something happens, I bump it and you can't see? Just tell me because I'm not going to keep looking. Okay, yeah, it's because I need a light so you can see it clearly. It's alright, it'll be fine. So I have a standard deck of cards here, okay? Now I'm actually really, really, t you know how there's that, um, you split the deck and you do the yeah. shuffle thing? So I'm really uncoordinated, so I can't do that, okay? So I need some, can someone do that? Can yeah. anyone here no. do it? Yeah. So now, I'm going to do something, let me explain it and then I'll do it, okay? I'm about to make four piles of cards on my desk and I'm gonna do it in a very particular way, okay? I'm going to take out a card, I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna say, okay, what color is that? Okay, so this is red. So this is my red pile now, okay? This is my red pile. Once I've put one card down, I'm gonna put an unknown one beside it. So these are my first two piles, okay? Then I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna alternate every time. I'm gonna look at a card, not look at a card. Look at a card, not look at a card, okay? So my next card is red, so it goes here. So my next unknown goes in the same one. My next one's black. So that comes with its unknown over there. So here are my four piles. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate, okay? So I'm gonna look at the card, red, so the unknown goes there. It's gonna be a bit messy, but stay with me. Uh, red, unknown, black, unknown. Okay, you get the idea, so there. The Sorry? You're doing your cards? I'm doing the whole deck, okay? Awesome. So, jokers? Um, it's a standard deck without jokers. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never knew. I never understood. So it's it has a specific purpose, I guess. Uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So now I've got. Let me tidy it up a teeny little bit here. Now I've got a red pile and a black pile, and I'm going to call this one the secret red pile and the secret black pile. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? So it's so you can keep track. All right. Now I had a die here somewhere. Where did it go? It's disappeared. Did someone see my die? It doesn't matter, I don't need to. Is it? Oh, there it is, it's just, it's just disguised. Okay, so I want you to um, look at this for a second. Now, have a look at my unknown piles. Those are the most important ones here, okay? Those unknown piles are very unknown. I don't know much about them. I don't know the cards that are in them. In fact, if you were paying attention, you'd notice, even though they're kind of like roughly the same size, um, I have no idea how many cards are in either of those piles, okay? So I don't know very much about these piles is what I'm trying to say. Now I'm gonna make me make me know even less about the piles. I'm gonna take some of the cards from this pile, the unknown black, and put them, swap them with the cards in the unknown red. Okay? So to work out how many cards I should do, I'm just gonna there we go. Six. Okay, can you see that? Yep. So I'm gonna go, um, let's see, one, two, three, uh, just for the, to be interesting, let's take three from the bottom. One, two, three. Okay? So these six they came from the unknown black pile, okay? I'm gonna swap them with one, two, three, uh, let's be, that's three, right? Let's be weird and take them from like the middle or something. Uh, one, two, three, okay? So I've got six cards from the unknown red, and I've got six cards from the unknown black, so I'm gonna swap them now. So this one goes over here, and this one goes over here. Are you following me so far? Okay, so here we go. Here comes the, <laughs> let's hope this works. I'm gonna make a prediction, okay? I predict, I predict that this is the unknown red pile, right? I predict that the number of red cards in this pile, this is the unknown black pile, is the same as the number of black cards in this pile. The reds in here are the number of blacks in here, okay? Now, I don't even know the sizes of these piles or how many reds or blacks there are. So I'm going to need you to help me count, okay? I'm going to put them down and because I'm looking at the unknown reds right now, I just want you to help me count the reds. Can you do it out loud? Okay, so... Mm. No, I'm, I'm looking for reds. Looking for reds. One. Okay. Two. Three. Three. Like snap. Four. Okay, so you got the number? Four red cards. Okay, four red cards. All right. Huh, that'll be embarrassing, is what will happen. Okay. All right, so I've got my four red cards here. I'm just going to put these all to one side because I don't need them anymore. So I'm predicting there should be four black cards in here. That's my prediction. Okay, so are you ready? Let's put these guys off to the side. Help me count. No, no. Black cards, black cards. Okay. One, two, three. Four. 
So, four reds, four blacks. What the random? Okay, now let's just think about this, right? Think about this. So, you have the tremendous advantage of knowing you're in a maths class right now. This is not magic. It's not even sleight of hand, okay? It's maths. It's mathematics, okay? Now, here's what I want you to get, right? We've been looking at like triangles and stuff like that. When you understand patterns and relationships, you can predict things, you can know things that people are like, how did you work that out? It's like, well, because I understand the mathematics, the patterns and relationships that are underneath what's going on. There's a whole lot of maths going on under here that's kind of disguised from you. You don't know it. I do, and that's why I knew the trick would work. I really wish you failed, though. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Holly. Okay, so now I want you to see like, what was I doing? I was taking advantage of a pattern or relationship that I knew about that you didn't know, okay? Well, now, if we come back to these guys, right? Mm. Okay, wake up. You, you now know about all these secret patterns and relationships that are going on underneath what people normally can see. The three patterns and relationships we're thinking about are called sign, cause and tan. They are a hidden pattern that you now understand how they work. So you can use them to predict things that you shouldn't be able to know, but you can.